From living rooms to laps, TV has quite the history. Hey guys, I'm Melissa Salvatore for 8012. Let's take a look at how much the tube has changed in 100 plus years. The first ever live transmission of still images came in 1909. That screen was 8 by 8 pixels. For perspective, I'm being shot right now in 1920 by 1080. In 1925, Scottish inventor John Logie Baird publicly broadcast moving images. He used two ventriloquist dummies because his prototype couldn't pick up enough details in human faces. Baird would improve sending images of a real person over the air the next year. Another year later, Bell Labs added matching sounds to TV images broadcasting between Washington and New York. Early TVs were mechanical though, physical machines like a car engine. It wasn't until 1929 that American inventor Philo Farnsworth made the first live electronic TV transmission. These TVs used signal tuners and camera tubes instead of revolving projection discs. Other inventors like Vladimir Zwarikin would develop electronic TVs like this one. The mirror would act as the screen. Electronic displays would improve through the 30s. Then, experiments in the 40s would lead to the first national color TV broadcast in 1954. Transmission and display technology would improve incrementally until the 70s and 80s brought TV through cable. Satellite dishes that were around since the 70s would finally become popular in the mid-90s. The first public HD TV broadcast in the US came in 1996. Then the big screen started getting replaced by the flat screen. Today, everything's digital, and your screen can be as small and portable as you want, or as huge and 4K as you can afford. From broadcasting dummies in 8x8 to broadcasting dummies soon in 8K, guess some things in TV never change. Catch you later on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to subscribe, like our videos, and leave a comment. If you can tell us why anybody still serves cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving, we'd love to hear it.